this is Sims, and we are back with more of The Sims for Life in Stardust, which is our Sims history challenge, and we're just waiting for these children to be born. Um, yeah, hold on. All right, so. La la la, I've got everything. Oh my god, I don't have my page open. The right page of my book, so that I know. Okay, so let's check on Cookie for a second. She doesn't look pregnant. Are we sure she's pre I mean, she's supposed to be. Oh, she's now in her second trimester in six months. Okay, so she's not even... Okay, so we're not having the babies in this part. Although the weird thing is, is I'm pretty sure I changed it to two days. I just want to see something. I'm pretty sure I did. So I just really feel like we've... Like, have we just not, like... Um, I think it's other pregnancy pregnancy duration it's only two days yeah okay i mean maybe it's just because the last episode was really only one day but like you know what i mean like we got i feel like it's been two weeks since they got pre oh she finally just popped like as soon as she hit her like set like now she's popped she was not popped before yeah okay so we'll kind of kind of Kind of, kind of. We'll kind of, kind of rush through. I kind of wanted to have the babies in this oh. episode. You know what I mean? Because we don't really have much going on here. Um, so let's see. She's going to be the one that takes care of the baby. We're not going to... There's not room in... I guess we can just put the babies out kind of like in the hallway or something. Or she can put them in her room. Let's see here. I just want to see something. I don't... I like how fancy this room is, but I don't think we need the fanciness. You know what I mean? We need more room room. But I guess... Well, I mean... Huh. I'm trying to figure out where we can, like, make some adjustments. And put... like, Because, I mean, you know what I mean? I guess we don't really technically need the desk here. We can put the babies over here, and then when the other one ages up, we'll put the... um, Because we don't really need the desk until they turn into children and then who knows what's going to happen. I'm just going to put that like that. Cause it's weird that it's, I guess I, I understand why it was facing backwards. You know what I mean? Because the desk was here and then you turn around and there's your bookshelf. And that's actually really cool. I like that arrangement, but we don't quite need that. Oh, we're going to need some more toddler toys and stuff. We'll deal with that. When we... But then we'll just put the bassinets over here and it's fine. So anyway, let's kind of see. You're, where is everyone else? Okay, they're sleeping because they're normsies. What are you doing? You're just being your good old self. Let's see. Um, get permission to drink, drink from two different... But you were... Oh, you were already... Huh. Well, you could probably ask for permission to drink from her. Because she's your food. Like, I like that. He's, don't drink from Sims. And now he's like, ask them. <laughs> ask them nicely. Purchase the tamed thirst power. I don't know if... I don't know if we... Can. Well, where is the tamed thirst? Um. Okay. Conflicts with insatiable thirst. Oh. Damn, we can't do it. We can't undo that weakness. Damn it. Did I do that? To I might have. I don't know. Well, frick. All right. Well, doesn't matter. It doesn't really matter. The story's not about you, so your life doesn't exactly matter. I was just going to try to do some things for you and be nice, but, you know. Um, well, we can't drink from What's-Her-Face anyway, because she's, uh, you know, she's pregnant, so we can't drink from pregnant sims, because, you know, that would be rude. Whatever. All right. So you're good. How's she doing? You're kind of thirsty, too, so you should probably... Stop, like... Drink. Let's see. You're okay. I don't know why we're not... We should be following you. You're just going to come down here. Don't, like, die or anything. I would just need these kids to be born, and then, like... Like, we got the whole background story, but now it's like, we just... We're just waiting for... <laughs> Sometimes I feel like we really should just, like, every once in a while just cut out some stuff and, like, skip ahead. Like, I mean, okay, I can put them into their third trimester. I can cheat and do that, which, I mean, you know what? Why don't we just do that? Hold on. 
Where is she? Third trimester in 10 hours. Um, pregnancy. Let's do pregnancy phase. Let's just straight up do third. And then her... Where, Cookie, where are you going? I need to click on you. Pregnancy, pregnancy phase, third trimester. Okay. Um, just to kind of speed it along. I know we only have two days, but, like, we really have nothing going on right now. We just need them to kind of have the babies. Um, we should probably... I don't want to... I mean, okay, we have money. We don't need to... I was like, I don't want to buy bassinets because you could just, like... They give them to you for free and then you can sell them for 150 simoleons. But it's kind of like... We have the money. I don't need to be cheap. Plus, it's easier if we have them. We can just click have baby. Because that's really what it is. We kind of need to have the kids in order to kind of move along the story. And we're just waiting it out right about now. Um, that's the only problem I have sometimes. Like, I have a really great, like... <laughs> we sometimes come up, like, I'm just sitting here, like, I, I don't know what to do. Like, eh, I don't know what we're going to do. Eh. But then all of a sudden, I'm like, oh, God, I got all these ideas. Well, now we're, and now we're just waiting it along. Um, let's see. Where are they? In here somewhere. Here we go. Um, let's use the green ones. We never use these ones. Can we, like... Will they be able to get to both babies if we do that? You know what? Let's just move this out here for right now. Okay. There we go. Now we have room for both babies. Perfect. Toot. All right. So anyway, yeah, because we're just kind of, we could change this into like a kid's room. <laughs> uh, where other child has to go. Where Seeker has to live in the basement. She's probably going to live down here, to be honest with you, when she ages up. Um, Because technically, where does Cookie sleep? Actually, no, I thought this was Cookie's bed. No, we had, oh, well, she was allowed to sleep up here. Yeah, does Cookie sleep in a coffin? I think Cookie sleeps in a coffin. I don't know where. I don't, I maybe we gave her one of the nice ones or something. I don't know. Um, Miles is the, we, this, this house was not prepared for, but I mean, like, it was just, I really liked the other one that we had. It was so great, that Gothic cathedral kind of thing, but it was so, like, up and down and all over the place in my brain. This one at least is... Not as visually stunning, but it doesn't have as much stuff in it, but it, it is, like, so much easier to deal with. I think they're both like, we don't like Caleb. It's so funny, Caleb is a nice vampire, but I don't think you can... Oh, that's true. She's pregnant, so you can't, like, ask to drink. Right, okay, never mind. Oh, he, there you go, he just took a plasma pack. He's, like, trying so hard to get them to like him. Whoopsie. Whoa, 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 whoa. Lamarck, a meaty? Yeah, the same. How did Caleb identify a minnow? Yeah, they really hate him. They really hate him. I feel like he's getting blamed for, like, all the coven problems. And it's like, he's like, I'm just doing my best here. <laughs> Poor fucking Caleb. You know what? Let's go hang out with Cuz. Because she technically is our cousin, right? I'm so confused with the family tree at this point. Not even gonna lie. Yeah. Lenore and Henley are our cousins. Miles is our brother. <laughs> uh, this family tree is a little confusing at this point. I'm like, I don't know. They're family, that's all I know. Actually, are they like second cousins, technically? Because, wait. No, they're like second cousins. Because Raynette... And Wolfric were cousins. Because River and, a and Ambrose were siblings. Ambrose and Akito had Fena and Wolfric. Yeah, so Rainet and Wolfric were cousins. So they're like second cousins. Whatever. Although technically, Henley, Lenore, and Miles are second cousins and siblings because no wait no huh? well see Raynette's mother so uh, technically Henley and Lenore are Raynette's half siblings because Raynette was an alien and then the alien the same woman got Wolfric pregnant so 
Lenore is technically his second cousin aunt. Does that make sense? That's weird as fuck. Yeah, you know. I like the fact that he is just here uh, in a towel. Okay, I actually wanted to see if she, she should be pregnant. Maybe, I don't know. I just wanted to see. Ooh! She's having a girl is going to be a problem, guys. This is going to be a fucking problem. We need to hang out with you more, too, because I really do like you, even though I don't know how you're going to turn out. But I have a feeling that, like, when the kids are a certain age, we're going to have to run away with them because, like, they're going to be trying to kill Lenore's daughter, and that's kind of fucked up. So she's going to have to hide that shit. And, like, you know, because Lestat, she doesn't know that, well, I mean, he manipulated her anyway. It was vampiric mind powers. Um, but, like, yeah, see, she's sad because she was, like, conned into this whole thing. She's like, I don't even know how this happened. Can we discuss sad moods? Talk about the thunderstorm. Um, but we're going to have to run away with the kids. Someone's going to have to run away with the kids. And I haven't decided, should Caleb take all of the kids and run away? Or should Miles be the one to do that? Because, you know. So we'll have to leave Finnegan, which makes me sad because, you know, I love him. <laughs> I do. He's precious. Although, I really, you really should have put clothes on, but, you know, whatever. There you go. He went outside to do that. I don't know where he's going. She's mopping puddles. Fucking, she... Okay, we can have you just pay the bills now. We'll have you be responsible. That's under house. There it is. Um, We're just here following him around. But yeah, so... <sighs> it's gonna be confusing. It's getting really confusing because we still have multiple sims that we, like, run away. Like, we had these two, but now we have to deal with her kid. If her was a boy, it would have been so much easier. But now we have to deal with her daughter and making sure she doesn't... Although, nobody's killed Fena. We have to worry about that, too. She's out there. Although, we have to worry about Fena uh, coming after our children. Because she's still evil and... Wait, who's this? Well, this lady's dying. Oh, no. They always give my sims that, like... Shiny... <laughs> Just really does like to do this. Okay, lovely. She's dying. That's great. We don't particularly care, because we're vampires and we could care less. Oh, are we going to go witness death and be sad now? Because some strange lady died. Yep, here we go. Well... You know? Her hair is so freaking cute. <laughs> Who is this? <laughs> Although the bangs part looks kind of bad. It actually is still cute. I love the little... I love the little boop on the back. Oh, okay. Well, now there's a ghost here. Forever ghost. He's like, la la la. We should have you shower in the rain. <laughs> um, shower in the rain. It'll be fun. Get naked in front of people. Okay, can we not be sad over some random lady's death, please? There you go. He's just standing there naked. <laughs> he's not actually showering in the rain. But I love how he's just standing there like, yes, I'm naked, bask on pommy. <laughs> He wasn't sharing, he's just butt naked. And I'm pretty sure he just walked by Grim. Do we have anyone that's alone that we could be an asshole and feed off of? Nobody's up here. Hmm. No. Oh, here we go. She's coming upstairs. Pause. Come upstairs. Where's she going? Let's come up here and... More choices. Vampire... Drink plasma. Compel for a deep drink. Here we go. No, don't drink that. Oh, no, don't drink that. 
Word on the street is that you be getting in fights. Why are you yelling at me? I have not been getting in fights. That is our mom. Yeah, okay. Well, we didn't need... Ugh, see, I know you were going to take care of your own, but you're kind of... We need to make you do some bad things. He hasn't been getting in fights, though. It's really weird. It's also really weird that, like, the when your sim is the one being the victim and having vampires drink from them, it's like, I heard you've been drinking blood. I mean, I had blood drank from me, not the other way around. But. And then we can go home. We just need some unwilling victims. You know. You're at hijinks festival. Well, I can be full of hijinks. We're probably not going to that. <laughs> All right, let's head home. <laughs> let's go home now that we've caused some shenanigans. Although no one's here to witness it, so I don't think it counts. But let's go. He's like, la la la. Nobody knows what I did. There's just a lady passed out. Of, passed out upstairs, which looks a little date rapey, but you know, I just drank her blood. It's fine. Without consent, so not fine, but... I'm a vampire, so excuses, I guess? I don't know. That's crossing some lines there. <laughs> I don't know how I feel about this anymore. She's fine. She'll build more blood. Like, I didn't kill her. I don't think. Probably did. Alright, so let's see. Good. We're gonna have babies soon. Maybe we can have babies in this episode. Okay, so I gotta remember that we gotta name them the right names. So, like, her daughter. Yeah, okay, I have it written down on my book. I have to, she's gotta be peddling because she's the one that's supposed to be pretending to be Cookie's daughter. Blah, 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 like the full blooded vampire, but really Seeker is Cookie's daughter, but that we're pretending is Lie's daughter. So. No. <laughs> No, I'm going to have a baby soon. I don't have time for this bullshit. I don't have time for your birthday party, Henley. Sorry. Also, I'm not sure how I know you, but okay. She's probably like... Nope. Henley is so desperate for people to hang out with him. We're like, what whatevs. Second cousin. <laughs> Call your sister. We don't care. <laughs> I probably, I mean, would have, but like, we're going to have these babies soon, so. Oh my god, who's calling you? Lilith, no. Not right now. Why don't you have a plasma pack? We're supposed to ask Sims to drink. Be mischievous to Miles. No, we're not going to do that. We're trying to get him to like us. Oh, look, she made enough for everybody. Somebody had started to cook. It probably wasn't her. Actually, it probably was. They're all vampires. Who knows? Okay, so she's eating. Um... Yeah, we're just waiting for these. Okay, can you go to... What does he want to do? Ask to be girlfriend. Oh, make out. Oh, she's having somebody else's baby. He doesn't even... I think he thinks it's his. That's it. I, it see, I'm thinking this is going to kind of start a fight between... Like, I hate that Miles and Finnegan are going to kind of hate each other. <laughs> because I do feel like Finnegan, obviously, like... He wasn't always bad, and Caleb is trying his best. But he's now surrounded by this coven that's always like, oh, well, you're like, uh, like praising him like he's the greatest thing ever. And he's like, oh, okay, that's weird. Um, and they have, they're a bad influence because there's a bunch of them and they're all kind of evil. And like, Caleb is like the good vampire. And like, Cookie's just kind of neutral. Like, I don't think she's good or bad. You know what I mean? Like, she's here... She's going to get this power by being the mother of this vampire queen, you know, so that's kind of awesome for her. But, like, I don't think she came into it being like, yeah, I'm going to be super evil and whatever. Like, I think she's nice, but she's being controlled by them, too. Like, she's young. She's a young vampire, and they're like, you're going to do this. And she's like, um, oh, okay. Like, she doesn't have control over her own life. Um, are we stuck? Or something. Because, like, I feel like we're stuck or something. Like, I feel like time is not, like, actually... No, I mean, things are moving, but she's about to have the baby. She's going to have the baby too soon. 
Let's go through this a little bit faster because I feel like... Okay, I'm going to reset you because I feel like you were kind of glitching people out. Like, I feel like people are glitching here. Like, I don't, I don't know what's happening. How about you go pee? Okay, stop watching TV. No, something's glitching them out. Reset. Can you go pee now? Okay, I don't know. Maybe she was the one glitching everybody out. Okay. And I'm going to have you, sure, go take a nap. Good, okay. And you can go eat something. Are you still going to be glitchy? I think you're still glitchy. Reset. Drink. There you go. Good boy. No, you're still glitchy. Okay. Caleb is glitchy. Caleb, don't fuck with me. Yeah, I don't... Okay, let's just go to Manage Worlds, and then we'll pop back in. I don't know why this thing is being a dumb fuck. It does this every once in a while. It gets super fucking glitchy, and it's kind of irritating. Um... So this is like the last thing you see during the week, right? Because it happens on a Sunday. And it's usually the last thing I record. I usually start with my Monday stuff. But I felt like recording this one first today. So I have some other exciting things happening this week that you'll already know about by this point. But because it's the first thing I've recorded, I can't tell you. Because also I haven't recorded the other things. Well, other thing. So <laughs> I can't, like, you know what I mean? I'm in this like, oh my God. So I'm kind of excited about this. But uh. Oh, and also, since we're reloading, let's talk about Realm of Magic. How fucking stoked are we, right? Oh, my God. I can't even believe, too... I mean, now it's, what, like a week away? Oh, my God, wait. When this comes out... Yeah, it's not even that far away. Um, But I can't even believe that it is literally like... Okay, so you're actually fine. Can you go do... Okay, good. You're going to go do something. And she should be giving birth. Okay. I kind of just want to get to these babies. Okay, I gotta remember to name them properly. Please don't get electrocuted. Okay, good. Let's go upstairs. Not with you. Oh my god. Why won't this thing come upstairs with me? Hold on. Let's go upstairs. Let's have baby. And then we'll have you come up here and have baby. What is she doing? Chat with Caleb. Um. But yeah, anyway. So... Yeah, I'm excited about Realm of Magic. I can't believe that they... When they did the teaser, it was like, oh, cool! And then the trailer, and then you're like, seriously, three fucking weeks? Oh, my God. And now it's, like, literally, like, a week away. <laughs> like, Because by the time... Well, okay, for me, it's still two weeks. But, like, by the time this posts... Yeah, it's, like, ten days away. Because this is going up on... Oh, my God, it's fucking September for you guys when you watch this. Holy shit, I can't believe it's September. What the fuck? Ah, time slips by so fucking... Um, so fast when you're old. Uh, okay. Lie. Okay, lie is, is, okay. She's supposed to be the pretend vampire queenie thing, and hers is secret. Okay. There we go. Um, but I'm so excited. It looks so good. And I can't tell you, the sim in the trailer, I don't know what it is. I, I was like, I love him, and I'm marrying him into a family somewhere. I don't even know why. Like, normally I'm not, like, a what's-his-name from uh, Island Living or whatever that's married and everybody was, like, stealing him from his wife and shit or deleting his family. Like, he's hot. Like, don't get, like, we all know. But, like, this is, like, one of the first times that I've seen his, like, I just don't know what the deal is with that guy, but I need him in my fucking game and I love him so much. <laughs> oh, whoops. I was doing the last name. Starstust. It would help if I could spell, but I'm, I'm thinking while I... That's no... Her name is Cookie. Oh, my God. <laughs> I'm trying to do this and think of five different things in my head. And, like, this is not going well, as you can tell. So. Could you actually come take care of your baby? So anyway, um, and then I will let you sleep. So yeah, so I'm really excited about that. He's going to marry into my family, into the family. But because of that, I have some, ex like, I'm not doing anything new for you. You already know what I'm doing because I've already, by the time you see this, you've seen the other things and you know, but if you watch anything else, um, but like, I don't want to spoil it because I haven't like, 
I haven't re recorded yet. <laughs> so I mean, but anyway. Um, yeah, I'm just, I'm really excited about that. But anyway, so back to this. Um, what was I saying? Yeah, so Caleb, is, like, so Cookie's kind of, look, she's just kind of happy about her life. She's she's kind of just worried about her life. She's not kind of concerned about anything else. She's like, look, I'm the mother of the vampire queen. That's awesome. Yeah, good for me. And this is what they told me. So, like, okay. Because she's not inherently good or evil. She's, I consider her neutral because she doesn't really have strong feelings one way or the other. Like, the coven is all basically evil. They're evil, they want to take over, blah, 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 right? She is kind of like, I, I don't know. Like, she's new to the whole thing. She's not, like, she's got her place. She's been told what she's going to do. She's living in her life. And, yeah, I mean, it, it's working out for her. But she doesn't have, you know leanings one way or the other with like no you know what the coven is evil and this is wrong or like yeah they're awesome she's like this is what they told me to, and i don't I, I don't i don't know man like she's overwhelmed with all the things but i would say she leans more toward i don't want to say she leans more toward evil but it's more like she kind of goes along with what the coven said because honestly she's gotten a good life out of it you know what i mean like She's, she's got a good life. She's got good shit going. So she's not going to rock the boat, you know, even though she's not nasty and evil and vicious like they are. Um, Caleb is the, oh, he is like panicking now about all the babies. And well, you got two kids now, sweet cheeks. Um, so Caleb is the inherently good one who is like, this is just wrong. And like, can't we just live in peace? And like, I don't want this to work out this way. And this is bad. That's why he's doing all those things behind the scenes and like manipulating shit. Oops, someone's getting abducted. Probably. Yep. Finnegan. Okay. I was like, probably Caleb. No, we're on Caleb. Okay. So Finnegan's getting abducted. Don't come back pregnant. That would be funny as fuck though. <laughs> um, so, you know. But I think, but it's hard for Caleb because he's kind of technically, he's not really the leader. Like Vlad is really, even though he is the leader of the club because like we're controlling him. But like Vlad would really be the leader and the stats would be above him and everything. But, you know, I, so I'm not really sure if he would be the one to run away with the kids and hide them or if he would put that on Miles. You know what I mean? Because he's always put up miles to go out and find their feeder breeder. Like, she's, like, you know, she's not really a breeder. Like, that, he doesn't even know. Like, poor Miles doesn't know. I, I think Miles might know. Like, Miles might know that this was, you know, not his child somewhere. And maybe that's why he hates Caleb, because he blames Caleb for this. Because poor Finnegan doesn't know what the hell is going on. Finnegan's basically being controlled. And he could have been good, but he's kind of, we don't know where he stands either. I don't want to, he's not going to be good like Caleb, you know what I mean? But he's not super evil, but I feel like he's going to get kind of drunk on power because, or he's just going to resign himself and be like, I'm just going to lock myself somewhere in the dungeon, you know, whatever, and not deal with this because look, the Coven got what they wanted out of him. They have their vampire queen heir, right? So he's, like, now just, like, he was exalted. It was like, oh, oh, Finnegan, you're the greatest. Oh, Finnegan, you're amazing. See, he's crying. He's sad. He's like, my life, this is just horrible. What did I do to my son? Um, <laughs> I feel bad for Caleb. He's supposed to just be a side character, but he's, like, the one that I feel the most for. Like, I feel bad for him, this poor guy. I thought he was going to be evil, and then he turned out to be a nice vampire, and I was like, the fuck, game? <laughs> like, damn it, EA, why'd you do this to me? Um. But yeah, so he's going to... Why do you want to buy a scratching post? You don't have pets. From being materialistic. I'm materialistic. I need a scratching post. You don't have a cat. I don't care. I need a scratching post. Don't give me that look. Um, But yeah, so... I feel like Miles might... I'm not quite sure who's going to run away. And I don't know where Finnegan's going to fit into this. You know what I mean? Like, is Finnegan going to be the one that... You know... Like, is he going to run away with Miles and take his children? Or is he just going to be stuck here, like, stuck with his life? Like, I feel like Caleb's trying very hard to raise him, to teach him to be good and to not be taken in by the coven and everything. I'm trying to go this way and my game's going the other way. 
Um, but I don't really know how it's going to work out for him. I'm also thinking, like, we don't want to have too many Sims in this freaking future house and deal with, like, 700 Sims. So, I mean, I don't know how that's going to work. But, you know. I also feel bad for Miles because I feel like he's going to be the one that's going to be responsible for having to go kill poor Fena. Because <sighs> she's, you know what? We're probably going to have to have Fena come sneaking on into this fucking house to try to kill these babies because she doesn't want them taking her power and someone's going to have to murder her ass. Maybe it'll be Finnegan. Maybe he's the one because he has to defend his children and he's going to kill Fena and then that's just going to like kind of break his fucking spirit and everything because like that's family but you know what I mean? Like you had to make a hard choice here even though Fena's evil but I don't know. Or if Miles was the one that did it would be literally like that made him snap and he's like I can't handle this and he kidnaps the kids and runs. <laughs> Which would be Caleb setting it up like you need to take them and everything. Because I feel like Miles thinks Caleb is evil because he's living here. He knows what the coven is like. but And he hates Caleb. But I'm not quite sure why because Caleb is a good vampire. So, okay, I kind of know why. I mean, like, he's in love with Lae, who is their food. And he's kind of pissed about that. Not really Caleb's fault that you fell in love with her. But also, you know, you don't... Now you're pissed because you were like, you manipulated her... And now, it, and you're more mad at Caleb than you are at Finnegan for sleeping with your girlfriend. I mean, yeah, that's some fucked up shit. But anyway, I'm going to wrap this part up here and we'll continue on in the next part. And we will, you know, continue with the babies and hopefully they'll age up and all that shit like that. So anyway, I will see you guys next time. Remember to give the video a big thumbs up and subscribe. Okay, you know what? Never mind. <laughs> I was going to be like, I was literally going to end it. And I was like, let me just see when they're going to age up. They're going to age up today. You know what? Let's just age them up and then we'll make them over for the next part. So more choices. Let's just age them up. So beep, beep, beep. Backing on up. Fuck that ending. We're not done yet. We're going to do this. We're going to age these babies up. Okay. So there we go. She looks like her mom. She's got her dark hair. Which is going to be so bizarre. And then she... Oh my god. And she looks like her mom. Oh my god. We're not hiding these kids really well. They're, like, she's like, this is my... Quote, unquote. She's pretending this is her daughter, but she looks like Cookie. And she... <laughs> oh my god. We're not hiding. This is... How the hell did that happen? They're like, um... Are you sure you didn't switch them? What? No! Psh. Oh, God. <laughs> um, maybe we'll have to just give them brown hair or whatever so that they look more like... Uh... Look, he's, like, instantly playing with his kids. That's adorable. And he's playing with the kid that he thinks is his, but isn't. <laughs> Actually, no. He's playing with the kid that he thinks is... Finic this is confusing as shit. But anyway, so I will wrap this part up here. We'll give them makeovers in the next part. So I will see you guys next time. Remember to give the video a big thumbs up and subscribe to see more.